All right, guys, Andy here. Welcome to the Minecraft 5x5 building system. And this time it is a modern house. This has been designed by HSW Snippy. And you can see his Twitter here. Do give him a follow on Twitter. An incredible design. Let's have a look inside. This 5x5 building system, normally I build castles and cathedrals and fortified houses. But it turns out it can be used in a modern way. What an incredible build. Let's have a quick move around the whole place it looks okay doesn't it it looks fine i like this well done to hsw snippy hey so uh, this is the, the front door you don't need to use a special texture pack i'm building in java pc edition i've got my own minecraft 1.13 usb sorry usb utb flows that's what it's called if you want my texture pack it's up from andyisyoda.com otherwise describe yourself any texture pack that has quartz blocks pretty much everything has quartz blocks or even concrete white concrete would be good as well you'll see some specialized blocks from me i've got spruce trap doors here okay you don't need to have them i've got things like uh, these spruce fence gates which are kind of cool for my texture pack again you don't actually need them to to put up a really cool looking house so this is the kitchen here the refrigerator would be here the, the cooker stove hood would be here and the cooker would be there breakfast bar would chair there and chair there this would be the dining room table beautiful kitchen surrounded by kind of a porch you go out to, to the swimming pool through this door here as well and then through here would be either an office or a bedroom i'm thinking definitely a bedroom um, this would be a snug where you can watch tv so put a couch around there i'm not going to furnish this place this place would be up to you to furnish if you follow along and build it depending on whatever pack you've got through here would be a bathroom and then through here would be uh, your living room as well. You could put a TV there or maybe a, a little stove, a wood-burning stove would be quite cool as well. And it leads again out to the pool through these French doors as well. So it's a really gorgeous build. So we're going to build it in two parts. We're going to build this big square here, which contains the kitchen and the swimming pool area. And then we're going to build this rectangle over here. That's going to be second. So first of all, we're going to start with any white block i'm using quartz but you can choose any one that you want so i'm going to do this and place this block kind of in line right there come up by six in total one two three four five six we need four of these with a gap of three between each one and that makes our typical five by five shape six blocks high seal the deal at the top and we're going to need a number of these. Now, I've got a special tool to help me make a number of these. But um, obviously, if you haven't got this tool, you have to do it by hand. One, two, three, four, five. So we need five in a row like that. And we're also going to need five away along the bottom. So one, two, three, four, five. And then seal that up into a square. So it's two, three, four, five. In fact, it's a five by five, five by five, five by five square. Does that make sense? Apart from it's six high. Five by five by six. Anyway, <laughs> there we go. So that is our little shape here. Now for the kitchen, the floor I want to do, I'm gonna set this to, um, I like polished granite in my particular texture pack, but you could choose whatever you want polished granite is what i've chosen for the floor for the rest of this space here i'm going to choose simply um what am i going to choose i'm going to choose simply oak oak for the floor now how big is this place we need to start maybe counting out how big this is going to be so gap of three one gap of three one gap of three one that is as big as this place is actually going to be so I'm going to do the rest of this as oak. And that looks exactly like that. So this whole floor has become oak now and we're ready to add a little bit of detail to the kitchen. Um, this 
middle block here, the middle block of our kitchen, that's our kitchen floor, is going to be sealed in. And made a block wider. So we're going to interfere with this little group of three here and make this a little bit wider as well. These ones here are going to get sealed in. Okay. These two uprights are going to disappear to make a nice big window. And these ones are going to disappear as well. And then we're going to place some window blocks. So I'm going to mark out where the windows are going to go in yellow. So it's going to go windows all the way along here. Teeny tiny windows in there. Remember we've put this block here so this one becomes a two wide window. This is a normal three wide window and that is going to be a doorway through into the hall. That's the entrance and this is going to be window in there as well. So I'm going to put that glass in. Be right back when all that glass is in. And there we go. All the glass for the kitchen is open. Obviously, this is still going to be an open space here. This is going to be the connection through to the rest of the house. But there you can see the glass has been put in. If you haven't got glass as fancy as me, I'm using Optifine, I'm using shaders. I've got a great texture pack with some see-through glass as well. I'm using purple stained glass and glass panes, two of each, to make this fine looking structure out of my glass. Um, we do need to seal in the roof at this point. I'm gonna use some commands to do that. I'm just simply putting some more quartz over here as our roof. I'm gonna come in two blocks here and here and I'm actually going to use a block in my texture pack that is um, well it looks like where is it <laughs> I've forgotten where it is where is it ah is it through here ah here it is it is the daylight detector in my texture pack the daylight detector looks very much like solar panels this is going to be a whole solar panel area you can see that it links quite nicely with this beautiful gray on the sides and nice blue on the top so there we go we've got a big array of solar panels as you can see that's two in from the corners that would be linking down to there as you can see hopefully you can see exactly where that all joins up and that's pretty much that area done um, I am going to stick some carpet on top now what I've done here is I've grabbed some gray carpet and this just finishes things off really really nicely and you can just wrap these so there's no glass in here at all this is just open it's a modern it's a contemporary feature you've got to get busy with this carpet all over this entire area so it should look something like that with your choice of gray or white or light gray carpet on top beautiful 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 so this is the entryway in here and the doorway would be right there We'll put that doorway in a little bit later on. Okay, so now we need to go on to the rectangular part of the house, this part of the house right here. So we need to start building up our shapes again. So we need this sort of shape. And how far across does it go? It goes one, two, three blocks across. And we're gonna need to fill them in here as well. That's about right. One, two, three, and just keep on going, putting these shapes absolutely everywhere. There we go. So how far up does this rectangle come? It comes up to here. So this is where we need to finish our job. So let me see this block here. We can do that one. And that one, that's as far up as it needs to come. And it just comes across, oh, that's wrong. It comes across like that like that, like that, and that. So I'll, I'll, I'll put the camera up here and you can count and see exactly how much that is. I guess it's three by six, three by six in terms of the five by five grid. 
Okay, wonderful. Now, what I am going to do on the inside of this is change the whole flooring system to the same block as I've done in the kitchen. And then we need to go inside and start to divide off some of these spaces in here. So, hmm, first job. First job would be to fill in, hmm, definitely fill in this gap right here. Hopefully you can see where that is. Um, this is the front door. I'm going to mark the front door with yellow wool. So come in the front door. Um, this wall here is going to get sealed up. And we're making kind of a private bathroom in this space here. So this is going to get filled up as well. This one here I'm going to fill up by two blocks, I think. And the last one's going to be glass in here. And that makes a teeny tiny little bathroom in here. So this is our bedroom in here. So this can all get filled in across here to mark this wall. And your internal pillar can get taken out. So there we go. There's our, our bedroom and a tiny bathroom in here like that great so now we're into this room here this is a square room we can take down the middle of it like that and we can put a wall up here it's kind of a snug or a tv room we need to give it a wall here and the tv would be on this wall right there um, this window is three blocks wide. We can actually make it a lot narrower just by taking it in like that and putting glass in there. So there we go. You can come in here. You can go into this bedroom here. Now again, we can make the entrance to the bedroom a bit smaller. There we go. You could put your own door there. Come into the snug. You would put yourself a nice sofa there so you can see the TV and this is going to be the bathroom again we can make the bathroom door a bit smaller and this is your bathroom in here we can seal across here and there we go nice big bathroom back into the snug and then we're into the living room and of course you can remove these two blocks or these two columns to make yourself a bigger living room area I'm going to seal this across here, and this would be a good place to put maybe a fireplace or another television. And I'm going to play with the windows. I'm going to come up here like that, and like that. Cool. We haven't put any windows in yet. I'm going to concentrate back onto the roof and actually seal some of these in. So this one here is going to get sealed in. This gap here is going to get sealed in. The one in the middle here is as well. And onto that middle one, I'm going to put some more solar panels. These ones here are going to get sealed in. Either side here. And I'm going to put some more solar panels on. And I love how the solar panels kind of pick out this 5x5 five five repeated shape like that. So there we go. I also want to fill this one in here as well. And stick another set of solar panels on it. And this one above the bathroom we're going to fill in as well. Um, this one gets filled in here. And this one. And this one leaving the bedroom with a skylight there and a skylight above the bathroom as well. Now for skylights, I've got a pretty nice uh, glass block in my pack, but just pick any nice uh, block that you've got in your own pack if you're not using mine. Um, and I'm going to put windows in here. So pretty much all these skylights are going to get windows. So I'll be right back when that is complete. And that is finished, but I've actually missed one out. And it's this one right here above the, remember this is the doorway, the entrance in, and then you can, you're in the house, and this is still sort of corridor 
hallway area here. Maybe you could hang your coats up there. This is into the bedroom, which is looking great with its new skylights. And this is into the snug right here, if you remember, looking great with its two skylights as well. You could even, even maybe take that skylight out as well, or even this one above the television might make a bit of sense. Um, but yeah, I want to put a fancy roof. I'm going to put a fancy roof, a fancy, a fancy window. And I, this is called, architects would call this a clear story window. A window which kind of is... It's up, it's high in height, it's at the top of the uh, a room, and it lets light in, not like a skylight does from above, but high and from the side. So when you're inside, it kind of looks a little bit like that. It's kind of an all over a clear story window. It's not perfect, but just a little bit of variation. I quite like that design. There we go. That's similar to what uh, HSW Snippy meant. I think it's very a little bit subtly different from his design. Okay, so you need to keep on spamming your grey carpets absolutely everywhere. And there we go, grey carpet in place. And I'm going to leave the tutorial there. Let me show you what I did with the windows. I kind of had fun with the windows. Whatever glass you've got, maybe you've got black stained glass, I've got white stained glass. You want something which doesn't let much light through it for these bedroom windows. Remember, this is the entryway in here. I don't think I took this column out. Ooh, emergency, emergency. Take this column out here as well. And there we go, we've got a beautiful entryway into the house now. Yeah, let me show you what I did with the windows. So these ones are fairly private. I've even put some blinds on the inside as well with a special block here. Um, here I've decided to go with um, your white stained glass and then clear glass pane, which is quite fun. The bathroom has got some more of these opaque ones on, and these ones I've played about with some shapes. And this is great fun. You've got these little three wide shapes. You can have two in one, or one in the middle, and two either side of the different colors of glass. Single panes on this side. I guess it depends which way the sun is coming as well, if you've got shaders as well. Here, I've just gone for some open doors as well, using end rods and clear glass in these windows, clear glass in those ones as well. And I've used trap doors, because I like them for my kind of revolving door. And that would be an easy way of building in the five by five system. Don't forget to stick yourself in a swimming pool. And of course, I've spaced out the swimming pool or I should have done using the 5x5 building system. Maybe this is annoying me and this wall should actually be here. Never mind. Add yourself a pool. You've got yourself a building system which lets you build modern. It lets you play with the walls. It lets you play with the windows as well. But it all still kind of joins up and you can add to it and expand using the 5x5 system. If you wanted to add on another room in this direction, you just keep on adding on these things here, these shapes, whichever way you want to go. If you've got a walkway, if you've got another room to build on, you just keep on adding them on like that. No thinking required. Just have fun. Thank you so much for watching. Big shout out and thank you again to HSW Snippy. I'll put his Twitter in the down below. Uh, let me know what you build in your system and if you furnish it, especially send me a picture on Instagram. I would love to hear from you and I reply to all messages on Instagram. Thanks for watching. Take care. Ciao, ciao. With the blocks, be with you.